is not a wig, it is not a weave, and it is not crochet braid. So what is it? And that is exactly what I'm about to show you in this video. Hi everybody, my name is Brace, and I hope you all doing very well. Welcome to my channel. So this is the hair that I use. It's called Cherish. It's Bohemian braids in 20 inches in color one. All right. So I wanted the Afro kinky textured one, but they didn't have it in stock. Um, so I got this one. <laughs> I've got my eyes on a lookout though. When they do bring it in stock, I'll definitely get it. And we're going to try the same technique that I used in this video with that hair as well. So as you all know, I always vinegar rinse my hair. Yeah. So I've never vinegar rinsed out um, Kelly hair before. So I used about a cup of vinegar and then I soak it in for about 15 minutes and then I uh, got rid of the water and then sh I'm going to shampoo now. All right, so I apply my shampoo as usual, just the same way we've done all our vinegar rinse with all that synthetic hair we've had, all right? So shampoo it, you know, get rid of that water, rinse, and then conditioner. Pretty much that's all it is. Um, yeah, so I was actually very skeptical in washing this hair because I was I was thinking that it might tangle up, you know. It actually cost me uh, £3.49, yeah, for a pack. And I bought five, which I showed you at the beginning of this video, right? It was not enough. So I had to go to the shop and buy three more. So in total, I used seven packs of this hair for £3.49. Yeah, way more expensive than my usual uh, braiding hair, right? So all I did really is to squeeze it, you know, push it down a little bit. So I did not manipulate the hair too much. When you're done, just leave it to dry and look at it. It looks beautiful, almost the same before I even washed it. Very little, a little bit of frizz, but that's it. I thought it was going to really tangle up, but nope. So this is my hair that I already shampooed, uh, I deep conditioned and I applied a uh, leave-in conditioner which I'm combing out right now. I completely detangled my hair and I twisted it, allow it to dry and then I comb it back out. I like my hair to be very detangled because it just makes everything much easier. So this is braids, yeah. I braided my hair so this is the technique um we braid if you already know how to braid it's gonna be so easy for you anyway so I took two strands of the Kelly hair all right I take a section of my hair and then I wrap the hair around my hair all right so what this is what I'm gonna do now I'm going to uh, take one of the Kelly hair add it to my natural hair and then I'm going to braid braid it until it's a little bit secure and when you are ready what we're going to do is that we're going to remove one of the Kelly hair from the other section, which has two, right? Take one. I usually put it on my lip and then I hold it in place just for a couple of seconds. Don't do this if you didn't wash your hair. You guys now already washed this hair, right? But I will also show you how to do it without putting it in your on your lips, all right? So stay tuned for that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to braid the usual way we braid the hair, all right? So you have one of the hair with your natural hair and then you have uh, two other ones separated like this. So you have three strands of hair you're braiding with, all right? So there you go. And then now you're going to have one of the strands of the Kelly hair right at the bottom where uh, which we did not braid, all right? So that's the technique. It's very simple. This gives you the illusion of, you can actually, when styling your hair, all you have to do is pretty much pick out all the hair that we didn't braid leave them at the top and you can literally hide your braids at the uh, bottom of it <laughs> anyway so make sure you braid your braid all the way to the end of your hair of your natural hair and then you're gonna braid at least an inch or two inches um, on top of that all right so that when we are taking this hair down we can take it down easily by cutting it without ruining our hair now you have one strand of curly hair at the top and then you have the braid you know it looks beautiful actually mixed with the braids but you can definitely hide some most of the braids underneath and then uh put the curly hairs on top you know so yeah that's it it's very simple really all you have to do is really just rewind the video and uh watch it again and um yeah you should be all right <laughs> so now we're gonna have all this three strand of hair at the end so if you don't want to put uh the hair on your lip to hold it in place this is what you're gonna need a clip like this all right so take two strand of the synthetic hair and then you're gonna wrap it the same way all right so therefore you have uh, four strands of the synthetic hair after you finish wrapping all right add one of it to your natural hair and then you're gonna uh, braid so therefore you have two 
of the synthetic hair, you have one strand of the synthetic hair, and then you have one which is attached to your natural hair. So you're going to braid the hair until you're comfortable, all right? You can actually take the um, strand, the Kelly strand out early. It's just that sometimes, uh, especially if your grip is not that good yet, you find that the hair might slide down. That's why I need you to braid a little bit before you take the hair out. So take the hair out that you want to, you don't want to braid. Take your clip and then you're going to clip it in place. Clip the hair and then clip it. On the other hand all right that's it then you don't have to put it on your lip and then you can just continue and uh, braid so yeah that's it <laughs> it's very simple really so in the future video I'm gonna show you how to take the hair out early right from the beginning all right this is like for beginners I just don't want you guys to have your hair because the earlier you take the uh, hair out the more chance there is that your braid will slide out a little bit all right so once your grip is good, um, you'll be able to take the hair out a lot earlier. In the future video, I'm going to show you how to take the strand of hair that you don't want to braid right at the beginning of your braid. Anyway, so this video is just for beginners, so I'll show you how to do that in a future video. So this hair didn't take me long at all. Um, I bought five pack of the hair, and you know I did run out, all right? So the five pack of hair, it took me about four hours to braid, and then I have to wait the next day go get more pack which was three pack and it took me about uh two hour after that like two hour and a little bit after that to finish it completely and it all depends on the size of the hair did you notice that i make slightly larger ones inside the hair aha <laughs> that's a little trick there nobody's gonna see that <laughs> Anyway, so you can do that. The smaller the sections, um, the longer it's going to take you, all right? So it might take you very little time. Um, it's very quick because you don't have to braid the entire hair. You just braid to the end of your natural hair and then you braid like an inch or two after that just so that when we are taking it down, we can cut it. So what I'm going to be using to moisturize this hair is this right here, okay? I'm going to be using this moisturizing curl activator cream. Yeah. That's the one I'm going to be using to moisturize and also to detangle this hair. As you can see, this hair is a lot of hair. <laughs> it's a lot of hair. I was thinking why I've not done Kelly hair before and now I know why. It's because you have to detangle it and... The only hair I really want to be detangling is my own natural hair, like for real. <laughs> That's the hair. Ah, it's huge. Oh my God. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim the hair. But this is where I'm going to trim. I'm going to be trimming here. I'm not going to trim up here because up here I think it's just fine. Right? So I'm going to be trimming the hair around here. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm not going to be trimming. You know the one that we took out? All the little, all the hair we took out at the beginning. All this hair right here. We're not going to trim that, all right? Because I'm going to keep the length. But what we're going to do is, okay, let me move this over. We're going to be trimming the part that we braided. So I'll probably take like this much. I'll take up like that. And then I kind of go like this. Okay. don't know if you can see that so that's the little part that I trimmed and then I have like that and try and trim the ones that are inside the hair so after I trim my hair to the size that I want I applied the curl activator to my hair and then I didn't I, I detangle my hair <laughs> and um, yeah that's what it's looking like so I did switch a light on on my right all right exactly that's why my hair is looking like this right now uh, but it's really jet black all right so there you go that's what my hair is looking like after the whole process I really love it <laughs>
so there you have it i hope you find this video useful and um if you do like it don't forget to uh comment down below and let me know if you like it or no um and i'll see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching bye